Well, hello there. Um, this is. Uh, so my username is yeah. It's N O. Ninety seven A H E G. Cool. Uh, that's me. And as you can see, I have a mouse on my iPad. I am using a mouse. I'm using a mouse, but that's in another video how to use it. How to get a mouse to work on the iPad. Um, so today I'm gonna show you how to get Adobe Flash on your iPhone, iPod, or, or iPad. About touch I mean, iPad. So what you do is you go to the App Store. This is not this does not require jailbreak actually. Um but don't get your hopes up. This is not free. So okay. So then you type in no. So then you type in um okay, so oh yeah, um cloud. Cloud space bra browse. Alright, cloud browse. Click on it. And um this one. The one that has like a little C and a B up in the clouds. So they it's it's three dollars, so it is not um Free for those who got their hopes. <laughs> who got their hopes up? On oh, the cool thing is right here, I discovered this mat, this app called Virtual PC. It is actually like a PC on your iPad. I did not know that. And this is another way you can get Flash in Java. It's like a little p. It's like a PC for your iPad. So if if you don't mind spending twenty four dollars, you can also use this PC virtual open office and stuff. But I'd recommend cloud browse if you don't want to waste twenty four twenty five dollars. So it's four dollars three dollars. And you can like view Java and Flash, play addicting games, and watch South Park Studios and like Nike ID and all that stuff. Alright, so you download it and it will be like this. So when you click on it Oh, and if I didn't mention it before, this, the way that I can, oh, and you get, um, the way I got, I'm sorry, the way I got, um, the magic, ma um, magic mouse to work with, with, uh, with the iPad is, um, by, well, actually, I'm not going to tell you because it's in another video, but just watch that video. And well, this is welcome to trial of a limited service. This does not mean you cannot use it after 24 hours. That just means that there's four options: premium or like basic and stuff. But the ultimate service, the ultimate is like where this, where you it can like have history and like like whenever you leave for an amount of time, like maybe like 10 minutes or five minutes. And you come back, it won't be at the same spot unless you have um unless you have unlimited service. But if you don't, that's extra money. And if you want to spend that, and fine. You if you just want the app, Java and Adobe Flash will still work. The only thing is that you will not be able to maintain your history. As you can see, this is um like. It runs on Firefox, so it's a little Firefox inside your computer. So, you, without the mouse, you do have to, like, click on the screen and kind of, like, drag a little circle around. It's annoying. But I have an actual mouse, so it makes it much easier on me. This does not require jailbreak, but the mouse... To get the mouse, it does, but I'm not going to show you how to do that, because that's in another video. So, when you click on here, then... You go up here, little keyboard button, and let's go to South Park Studios. South Park Studios dot com. Here we go. 
So then now, just done. Press on done. And now, you just press watch full episodes. And watch. <laughs> As you can see, I am filming on a blue iPhone 4. And I am not going to tell you how I got that. Because I do have another video mentioning how I got that. <laughs> you can click full screen too. Oh crap. Sorry. Oh, here it is. Oh, you can have tabs too. I forgot. Well, you can do full screen too. It's just done under here, but I don't want to. All the hard with axe styling and get some hair action. Ben Brantley of the New York Times says the Book of Mormon is the best musical of this century. The kind of newborn, old-fashioned, pleasure-giving musical that our grandparents told us left them walking on air. It's all right, well, you get the idea. That is South Park Studios. And you, if you're watching something like this and you, like, stop in the middle of the video, then you do have to turn it off because if you, like, click the home button while you're watching it, the sound will still play on your iPad. So you do have to, like, pause it before. Like, just click on the screen to pause it. And there's full screen down there, but I don't want to do full screen. It does work. Full screen does work. I just don't want to do it. It is a little bit laggy and, like, but, you know, you are getting Flash on your iPad, so you should be grateful. It's just a little bit laggy, but it's good. You can still watch. Alright, so now let's go. Predictinggames.com no. Let's watch this part. This part's funny. <laughs> Asian war. What the fuck? Okay, um, actually, I should go now. So, click. Can I take a order, please? What's the big idea putting your shitty sushi right next to my shitty Okay, so there. I'm sorry, I... There we go. So, we're in a Duke Games. And let's try a game... Pod erasers, I guess. Ah, oh, you! God damn it! God, Jesus Christ! I have no idea what the fuck is happening here. But it usually will work. Um, it's giving me like a login to Facebook. Well, it should work. I don't know what's happening here, but. It should work, so that's how you get this Adobe Flash on your iPad or iPhone. It doesn't work on iPhone. Oh, and I have to say, this, the mouse thing, also does work on your iPhone. You can have a mouse on your iPhone if you watch my video. Alright, rate, subscribe, and all the comment, all that shit that all the other YouTube people say. And, uh, okay. Ho-ho-ho!